Hi, welcome Aries. Today we're having a look at the chakra energy that you may have um, learnt from in the past. We're connecting that to the sacred earth oracle for a message and what chakra do we need to concentrate on in the future. So let's have a look at um, the past chakras. So what does Aries need to know about the chakra system? Chakras for Aries. Chakras for Aries. Chakra and Aries. This is important because we all need to know where our energy is blocked and flowing. And so what's going on in the future? What does Aries need to know? Surrounding the chakras. Okay, so I'll have two chakras there. And then connecting the whole system is the Sacred Earth Oracle. So where are we being connected in our the planet? And what lessons do we need to further know? So that's that. So first of all, Aries, we'll have a look at the first energy system. So this is a very good start for you. You have the insight. I'm just going to put it there down. So when your chakra, which is your intuition chakra here, is insightful, it means that you've already connected to your higher self and your soul purpose. So you can actually thank yourself quite a lot for bringing down that aspect. So it looks like you've paid attention to all your chakras from the base all the way up the main chakra system to allow that spiritual energy to touch you. So the insight that you will get is not only awakening yourself, but the intuition that will flow through you. So when you remove your thoughts and your desires and move yourself away from that, that brow chakra is going to open significantly, which you probably have already started to feel that. Um, so you'll be interested in a lot of holistic things and a lot of ologies, the keys to the universe. So you've also got here the blue chakra, which is from the throat and everything with the senses, self-expression, exchanging, sharing and connection. So communication from all sorts of aspects are definitely here. So sometimes when you've got that blocked, your chakra blocked, and this is perhaps why it's coming up here, that you've worked on that and you know how to communicate. Blue is a very good expansion, so you've also perhaps been expanding your active listening. So when you um, perhaps block those senses off, you know, you don't focus on the hearing and the speaking. You can tap into your insights a whole lot more. So you've probably expressed to the universe that you want to become more insightful and more in tune with intuition. So these two chakras are very much open. So this is a really good start. So let's have a look what we, you need to know further. So this is absolutely fantastic because this is even higher than the insight. So you have divine wisdom. So when you express to yourself that, oh, it's time to meditate. I really feel that I need to do that. And sitting down in meditation to pull down those insights, you'll find the divine wisdom will come through. So having that huge auric field to allow the possibility and the physicality to sit down, to be still, to find that divine wisdom for yourself is definitely there. So paying attention to soul healing. This is very important for Aries to completely heal their soul. 
once divine wisdom and once the full spiritual journey is complete, then the soul is very satisfied because that's the end. <laughs> They've done all their soul searching. They've done everything that they need to do. And now is the time to rest in the wisdom that this lifetime that you've lived has been very, very successful. So listening to your inner voice is vital and keep doing that again and again because this may be demonstrating that yes you're there or very nearly because this is in the future then this whole soul healing has happened you hold in your hand the light of your soul the light of your spirit so the connection is there in harmony so what other message do you need to know productivity so when you have um, your inner child here or even a child itself, what messages are you going to communicate to actually make them into that soul purpose, their soul love, their harmony and divine wisdom? So being productive and being sitting down to be not productive, but it is being productive is very essential and very healing. So it looks like Aries for the moment. <laughs> this time, if you focus on a higher self and not put your energies into something that's not worth worthy of your soul journey and being productive in aspiring to this aspect, then everything will be very clear. Everything else will fall in place. You'll find the stillness, the space and peace and the divine wisdom that is the all love power so this looks really good so your chakras are very aligned at the moment because if they weren't you wouldn't be able to get to these two places so i hope that's helped and lots of love today and good luck with your energy fields thank you for listening